Hi guys, inside this very big box is the Beauchette Cave Dweller 1000 meter dive watch, which has an entry level Swiss movement. With shipping, the Cave Dweller was $776, and as usual, I paid for the watch with my own money. I'm doing an unboxing now because by the time I do a full review, it'll probably be sold out. The cave dweller is overbuilt. No one actually needs a 1000 meter dive watch. One wears the cave dweller for its hyper masculine aesthetic. When one buys a watch like this, he loses the right to complain about its thick case and bracelet. I wasn't able to remove the sticker with the vinyl glove on. Not the smoothest side of a bracelet in the world, but not terrible. Bezel teeth are probably going to be smooth enough for me. This is a really tight bezel. I'm not entirely sure that's lining up. We'll inspect under magnification later. Clasp edges are super smooth. It looks like there are three micro adjusts and we have a self adjustable clasp with what looks to be four positions. Awesome. This is just what the doctor ordered. My first attempt to close the clasp failed because I didn't use enough force. I'm going to withhold judgment on the clasp until I remove all the plastic. Nice crown, action seems okay. I need to work with this a little more before I pass judgment. Bochette's webmaster needs to be fired. If you go to Bochette's main webpage, bochettetimepieces.com, you might get an Adobe Flash Player is blocked message. This is because Flash stopped being supported years ago due to security and other issues. If this happens, click on Shop Our Store. I was able to observe the entire website on my iPad, which is what I used to buy the watch. So far, the Cave Dweller is getting a good review. I'm going to be selling the watch after I publish my final review, which will probably be about three weeks from now. I'm going to be selling it because I don't collect watches. I just review them. I couldn't afford this watch anyway. I'll list the watch as sold in the description when I've sold it. Otherwise, contact me if you're interested in buying it. I won't decide the price until after I review it. Stay tuned for my next review next Friday. Please like, please subscribe. Also, I'd like to thank my Patreon benefactors.